Hey guys, this is a video on my differential equations with linear algebra series. In this video, I'm going to work through a web work problem pertaining to separable differential equations. And without further ado, let's get to it. The question states, let P of T be the performance level of someone learning a skill as a function of training time T. The derivative dp dt represents the rate at which performance improves. If m is the maximum level of performance of which the learner is capable, then a model for learning is given by the differential equation dp over dt equals k uh, times m minus p of t where k is a positive constant. Two new workers, Mark and David, were hired for an assembly line. David could process 11 units per minute after one hour and 13 units per minute after two hours. Mark could process 10 units per minute after one hour and 16 units per minute after two hours. Using the above model, and assuming p of 0 equals 0, estimate the maximum number of units per minute that each worker is capable of processing. And when it says above model, it's just referring to this model right here. dp over dt equals k times m minus p of t. I'm only going to do the calculations for mark just because I know that it comes out to a whole number without any decimals. David will be done the same way, just with different numbers. I don't want to make the video too long or confusing. However, in case you have the same numbers and you're on your last attempt, I'll just write the answer for David at the end. One important thing to point out is that dp over dt represents the rate at which performance level improves, not the rate at which employees process units. You might see units per minute here and think that's related to dp over dt. So don't get confused by seeing like, for example, 11 units per minute and think that dp dt represents that. Next, you, know, you need to notice that m is a constant because it's just the maximum uh, level of performance. k is also a constant. P, however, is not a constant. It's a function of time. And this P and this P refer to the same thing. So right away we can see that this is going to become a separable differential equation. So what we're going to do from here is multiply both sides by dt and divide both sides by m minus P of t. So we'll have dp over m minus P of t equal to k dt and now we can integrate both sides I'm going to use u substitution here to make this integration easy I'll say that u is equal to m minus p of t so du when derived with respect to p is just negative dp so we don't want negative dp, we want just dp, so we're going to divide by negative 1. So negative du is equal to dp. So we'll have negative integral of du over u equal to integral of k dt. This is just natural log of u, and then there's a negative sign here, and this is equal to Integral of k, k, k is just a constant since we're integrating with respect to dt, so this will just be kt and plus an arbitrary constant, plus c. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative to get rid of the negative from the natural log, and also I'm going to substitute in what u equals, and we know u equals m minus p of t, so we will have natural log of m minus p of t is equal to negative k t and since this is an arbitrary constant even if you have uh, even if you multiply this by negative it really wouldn't matter because we can say we have a plus a negative constant so we can just still call it plus c 
uh, so we will have natural log of m minus p of t equals negative kt plus c p is inside a natural log and we don't want that so we're going to have e raised to this entire thing and then e raised to this entire thing the natural log and the e cancel each other and then we'll have m minus p of t is equal to e to the negative kt plus c here we're going to use a property of exponents to make this simpler if you recall if we have a base let's say for instance x raised to a power a and that's multiplied by uh, the uh, same base raised to another power like x to the b we can rewrite this as that base and the sum of the power so a plus b in this case we're going in the opposite direction so we're going to have e to the c times e to the negative k t and this thing we'll just call a so we have m minus p of t equals a e to the negative k t so we got up to here m minus p of t equals a e to the negative k t so now we're going to try and figure out the value of a we know that the problem gave us that p of 0 is equal to 0 so we're going to use this information to try and figure out the value of uh, a so m minus 0 is equal to a e to the negative k and this just tells us p of 0 equals 0 that means time equals 0 so time is just 0 so anything raised to the 0 power is just 1 so we have m is equal to a times 1 so a is equal to m we can rewrite this expression as m minus p of t equals m e to the negative k t since we're going to do the calculation for mark we know that mark can process 10 units per minute after one hour and 16 units per minute after two hours and I just made this note here that x uh, to the power a and that raised to another power is can be written as x to the product of a, uh, a and b this will come into play later on so so if we have this expression m minus p of t so m minus p of 1 is just m minus 10 equals m e to the negative k where time is just one hour if we isolate this for if we, if we bring all the m's to one side we can do this we have m minus m e to the negative k equals 10 and then if we factor out m 1 minus e to the negative k equals 10 and then we can divide both sides by m to have 1 minus e to the negative k equals 10 over m and if we isolate for e to the negative k we can get e to the negative k equals 1 minus 10 over m and now oh, we have the k term isolated to one side we also know that when t equals 2 he can process 16 units per minute so we're going to do that off to the side here so m minus 16 is equal to m e to the uh, negative k times 2 because t equals 2 hours 
We're going to do the same thing here, bring the m's to one side, so we'll have m minus m e to the negative 2k equals 16. Then we'll factor out an m, and we'll have 1 minus e to the negative 2k equals 16. We divide both sides by m to get 1 minus e to the negative 2k equals 16 over m. Isolate for the k term, then we can have 1 minus 16 over m equals e to the negative 2k. And now we're going to use this property, we're going in reverse two things are multiplied we can just rewrite this as 1 minus 16 over m equals e to the negative k squared and we know that e to the negative k is just equal to 1 minus 10 over m and we're going to use this information since we know that e to the negative uh, k is equal to 1 minus 10 over m. We're going to substitute that in here. So we will have 1 minus 10 over m squared equals 1 minus 16 over m. Now to make this a bit simpler, we have m on the denominator. We're going to factor out a 1 over m from everything. And since this is 1 minus 10 over m times 1 minus 10 over m, we can factor out a 1 over m from both of these parentheses and we will get 1 over m squared times m minus 10 times m minus 10. All I did was factor out a 1 over m from both of these. And on this side, if we factor out a 1 over m, we will just get m minus 16. You can double check that when I distribute this, I end up with this. And if I distribute this back here, I'll end up with this. Now, Now, what we're going to do is multiply both sides by m squared. So that gets rid of this. So we have m minus 10 times m minus 10 equal to, if we multiply this side by m squared, the m on the bottom cancels out and we're left with just the m on top. So m times m minus 16. If we distribute everything now, we get m squared minus 20m plus 100 is equal to m squared minus 16m. If we subtracted an m squared from both sides, we'd get rid of the m squared. And then if we add 20m to both sides, we get... 100 is equal to 4m and if we divide by 4 we get m equals 25. So the maximum performance level for Mark is 25 units per minute. The calculation for David will be done the same way except you have to substitute in the corresponding numbers in their respective places. Uh, you can work that out. Hopefully this will give you an idea. But like I mentioned earlier in the video that I will uh, give the answer for um, the maximum performance level for David with these num uh, with the numbers uh, for this problem. So for David, you should get 121 over 9. And that should be your final answer. This is for Mark. I hope this video is helpful. As always, 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check out other videos on my channel, especially the differential equations with linear algebra series. Also check out the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care guys.